Ladies and gentlemen, the second DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla titled The Siege of Paris is almost here and while we have some fantastic news and information to bring you about the new black box infiltration missions as well as some new enemy details that will really challenge and change the way you play this game. So if you enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated, subscribe if you are new, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So of course, Assassin's Creed Valhalla continues to be a popular entry into Ubisoft's long-running series, getting constant updates that improve the overall experience, although of course they haven't fixed stealth yet. Can we, can we do that? Thanks. These updates have ranged from hotfixes and game updates to larger content additions and live service elements such as the newly released Sir Blow Festival. In fact, just a few months ago, the first expansion called Wrath of the Druids launched, letting Eivor take his Vikings across the Irish Sea from England to Ireland. And at E3 2021, Ubisoft held its own traditional press conference, giving fans an early look at numerous games it had in development. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was featured during a short segment, revealing that not only is the game getting additional content beyond the first season, but it gave fans a first look at the upcoming Siege of Paris expansion, and as expected, players will be heading to France for after a few years after the main events of the game, taking part in a prolonged Viking siege against the forces of the last Emperor of France, Charles the Fat. And now in addition to the story synopsis, Ubisoft have revealed a few gameplay specific details, confirming confirming that the fan favourite black box style missions would be making a return after being on the shelf for a few years. To prepare fans for the release of this latest expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, here's everything players need to know about these black box missions. So as we all know, Ubisoft first introduced the concept of black box missions alongside 2014's Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this game took place inside of revolutionary France and featured Arno Dorian whose father was part of the French Assassin Brotherhood before being killed by Shea Patrick Cormac. Now Dorian is then adopted, though he's unaware that his new family is actually part of the Templar Order. Arno is soon caught up in a new conspiracy when his adopted father, who is the current Grand Master, is murdered. The events then push Arno on a quest of redemption and puts him on a collision course with the French Revolution and the growing threat of the new Templar Order. Now the big shift in gameplay for Unity was seen in these black books mission, which essentially gave the player the freedom to complete it as any way they saw fit. During certain portions of the campaign, players would be given a mission such as assassinating a certain target. Upon entering the area where the target resided, the game would present players with contextual clues for completing the mission, but ultimately allowed them to plan and choose their own path for completing this mission. Once the assassination was made, the players and the mission wasn't complete until Arno was able to escape. Now, Prior to the game's release, Ubisoft showed off a black box mission where Arno was hunting Charles Sever near the Notre Dame Cathedral. The player is then presented with numerous opportunities and different methods to achieve the goal of taking out Sever, such as storming the front gates, finding a more inconspicuous open window, following a target to learn more clues, or picking a key off a character to unlock a door or window. It's all up to player in a black box mission. Now, while Assassin's Creed Unity had a number of problems, problems at launch, the freedom of these black box missions proved to be a highlight for both critics and players. The popularity helped these missions return in Ubisoft's Quebec's London-focused Assassin's Creed Syndicate. However, the series wouldn't go on then a eventual hiatus, allowing the franchise to be retooled with massive open worlds and a stronger emphasis on RPG mechanics. And then with these changes, Ubisoft also abandoned black box missions as the games instead became entirely open, embraced a leveling progression system and removed long time series samples like the mini map. And of course, while the open ended nature of the recent AC games presented players with the freedom to choose what they wanted to do, many in the community, even myself, have lamented the loss of the feeling that the older games gave them, highlighted by the Hitman style black box missions. Thankfully though, Ubisoft have since confirmed that these missions are coming back, though the company hasn't specified in any way what they'll be like, if they'll be like Ace Unity, a 
AC Syndicate, or it will be a completely new type of open black box mission type thing. And of course, considering that players are joining a Viking Siege of Paris, it definitely is possible that you will need as the player to infiltrate the Palace of Charles the Fat, either to take out a high ranking member of his court or even the Templar Order, all of which is possible to advance the siege in the favour of the Vikings. Hey, Eivor may even need to remove a piece of defence such as a guard guarding the gate or utilise a weapon that is keeping the invading force at bay. With these Black Book missions, players will once again have the freedom to deal with the missions in a variety of ways and I for one am excited to finally get my hands on it. And then we can move into some more of the new enemy types. Now of course, Siege of Paris will be taken in the Kingdom of Francia and you'll be met with such massive opposition. Now of course, in addition to the standard enemy types that players are used to, Ubisoft just showed off a new enemy type, the Frankish Knight. Now this enemy is unique from all of the others because of its emphasis on mounted combat. Now most enemies in the game at this moment in time will dismount when they go to face Eivor in combat, but that isn't the case here. Players will then need to figure out new strategies to take these enemies down, and I for one am excited to do it. Now as the trailer shows, the Frankish Knights wield large lances while they are mounted. Their primary method of combat seems to be ride by attacks as they pass back and forth while stabbing Eivor in the neck. They also equipped with swords and shields, which they will presumably use when they are knocked off their mount. They are also shown to throw javelins similar to the armoured captain enemies. This will more or less likely be one of their main weaknesses, as Valhalla players with the missile reversal skill unlocked can easily catch these spears and throw them right back at the enemy. Now this is all we have so far, just this little snippet of video showcasing just how damaging and and kind of cool these Frankish Knights look and thinking about it now that the enemies have this ability to attack prominently on their horses perhaps Eivor will gain that ability as well because at the present all we have is Eivor doing a weak kick attack even if you have a sword or spear equipped so hopefully in the future fans will be able to use weapons while on top of their horses something that has been in the game but got taken out for some reason I I really don't know so ladies and gentlemen in the comment section down below I want you to let me know what you think about these new black box missions will you be doing it in completely different ways because it does allow for replayability also what do you think of these knights will they be a massive pet in the arse or will they be easy to take down let me know in the comment section down below also i'm running a new giveaway on my channel for two codes for the siege of paris dlc all you have to do for a chance to win is be subscribed to the channel like the video and just leave a comment down below what you think about this new information i'll be giving the codes away on the release date so make sure you are subscribed and you have notifications turned on and you also leave your Twitter account. Guys and girls, I hope you have had an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next video.